let's take a look at some factors. We'll start off with an easy one, then we'll look at a harder one. So you see something like this, 6x plus 42. So if we look at this, we know that we can take 6 out of both 6x and 42, because 6 times 7 is 42. So we'll take the 6 first, and then multiply x plus 7. And that's all we would do with that. So that's pretty simple. Um, with a more difficult problem, uh, what if we took 6x squared y plus 42xy plus 72x squared z? Okay, so that's a little bit harder, right? So what we want to look at here is what can we take out of all three of these? Right? And so we start off with uh, 6 and 42, which we just did, right? And we knew that we could take 6 out of 42 because 6 times 7 is 42. As we look over here at 72, can we also take 6 out of that? The answer is yes, because 6 times 12 is 72. So let's start off with 6. All right, then we look, is there anything else that's common to all three of these? X, there's an X here, here, and here. We can do that. Uh, what about X squared? We have x squared here, only an x here, x squared here, so we can take out 6 and an x, but not an x squared. Um, what about a y? Right? We have y here, we have y here, but here we have no y, so y doesn't work. And what about z? z is here, but neither of these. So we know all we can take out in the beginning is 6x. All right. Now we just have to distribute. Right? To get to 6x squared, that's an x, because x times x is x squared. Um, and then we need to throw a y on there, so there's our y plus, we know that 6 times 7 is 42, so we have a 7. Um, we don't need to add an x. If we put an x here, that would give us um, 42x squared, which we do not want. We just want x. We're not going to put anything here, but we do need that y again. So we're going to go like that. And the last one, we know that 6 times 12 is 72 and x times x is x squared, so we want an x, and then we also need to throw a z on there. And that's how we do it.